What's up guys, we're here and welcome back to another detailing related video and on this one we'll be reviewing this PNS Brake Buster. So PNS Brake Buster is a non-acid wheel and tire cleaner that safely removes accumulated brake dust, dirt, oil, stains, and light corrosion. And aside from those, they have also mentioned that it also has some special corrosion inhibitors that will protect the wheel from future corrosion. So yeah, let's get onto it. As you could see, I have a sprayer bottle here with a full strength bake buster. So basically that means I have just directly poured the contents of this one gallon into a regular sprayer bottle. And I have another one here that is diluted 5 is to 1. So meaning 5 cups of water to 1 cup of brake buster. And I have put it on an IK Foam Pro 2. Alright, so here's our wheel and tire candidate. So this is from a 2014 Montero Sport or also known as Pajero Sport on some countries. So as you could see on the edges here, there's like a buildup of brake dust and dirt. There's a lot around on each corner. So this is a good uh, testing bed for our PNS Brake Buster. So the full strength and the 5 is to 1 dilution ratio. I'll be spraying it directly so that the products will be not diluted any further because if we spray water on here and then we spray the product it will be kind of diluted because there's water on the surface and the product will not straightly tackle or attack the dirt, grime or accum accumulated brake dust. So let's start with the full strength uh, on the half of this wheel and tire. Just directly spray it here. So if you bought the pin size from PNS directly, uh, I think they'll be having a foaming sprayer. But this one is not. But still, with the regular sprayer, there's still a bit of foam coming out. So that's good. It's a high foaming uh, cleaner. Let's just spread it down there. So we will spray it generously according to their directions or instructions from the label. And also make sure to work on a cool surface, not on a hot surface. This is still cold, so that's fine. Alright, that's pretty much good. And let's spray it. So there we have a high foam. Just spread it all around. Make sure to cover all of those uh, crevices and areas. Alright, so according to their label, mm, allow it to sit for one minute or greater. So let's just do that. Alright, so after a minute or two, let's uh, head on and brush the tire. So we'll start with the full strength first. So you could see the, the foam is brown. It's not white. I hope the camera picks that up. There. Compared to this one, that is white. So the product is showing you that it is working. You can see there's a heavy brown stain coming from the sidewalls of this tire. So the product is effectively working. And let's see the result after we rinse this off. Alright, for now, for the 5 to 1 dilution ratio, so the uh, disadvantage for this one in countries like the Philippines or tropical country that the foam and the actual product evaporates quite quickly. The foam drips down fast so you have to work on it very fast like within a minute of uh, spraying the product you need to brush it immediately so that the foam doesn't drip down like this one. All of the foam or majority of the foam already drip down after a minute. Uh, you can see that there is a bit of browning on the foam but not much as the full strength. So if you really brush it well, the foam will really turn brown there. So indicating that it's removing the dirt from the actual tire. Alright, so after brushing it off, let's rinse them. So full strength on this side and then the 5 is to 1 on this side. So let's see after one pass how did they perform on this dirty tire. Alright, so after letting the tires dry a bit, uh, you could see that the dilution of 5 is to 1 still has some browning or dirt left on the tire sidewall there. You could see that those are dirt or brown stains left 
compare that to the full strength like this one on this portion it's totally clean see there's no more browning uh, same goes on this part up to here compare that to the other side you see this there's still some brown and this one doesn't have it already but if you let it sit and evaporate the product uh, it will leave some uh, residue like this one so quickly work on it especially if you're in a tropical country like the philippines don't let it sit for a long time don't let it evaporate it will leave residue but yeah it's good to see that the full snake uh, removes the dirt instantly or almost instantly if you want you have a second pass on this one just to make sure that everything's clean but on the 5 is to 1 there's still some dirt left so let's see if on the second pass it will fully remove it So for our 5 is to 1 dilution ratio, so some parts are already dried, you could see that this part no longer has that brown stain or dirt, so it cleaned it really well. Well, of course, except for this part that I didn't really brush well because I'm afraid that, that I might spread the product to the other side. But yeah, this part is really clean. There's no more browning except for the lower parts. There's still a bit of brown, but this one, this area right here is really clean. There's no brown stains. Uh, same goes on this part. And yeah, the, those are the only parts that are dried up. And this one. So yeah, usually on the second pass, with the 5 is to 1 dilution ratio, it will clean off the dirt. Let's have another pass with the full strength on this side again let's see if it will still turn brown on some parts especially the parts that we have cleaned already all right so after letting it dry a bit for the full snake you could see that the tire wall or side wall is already very clean it's neat and clean so it's ready for your tire dressing so the tire dressing will adhere to the actual tire surface and not onto a dirt like this one so here looking all the surface that we have touched with the full strength there's no more brown stain there very clean very black we're all just seeing the bare rubber of the sidewall so that's with the tires let's proceed with the actual wheels all right so let's proceed with the full strength first generously spray it on the surface all right, so after letting it sit for a minute, uh, let's go ahead, brush it with our flagged uh, wheel brush and try to remove this dirt. So this is what I like about using wheel brushes. You could reach crevices with ease. And let's see what's the result of this one. All right. So after rinsing it off, you could see that some of the buildup, especially on this part, got removed. But on heavier or a bit heavier buildups like this one, there's still a few that remains. You could see that there's a little bit buildup remained here on this one as well and this one and on this one. But on lighter buildup of brake dust and dirt, it got removed like this portion here. And by the way, on the lug nuts or the lug nut holes, it did remove some buildup as well. But of course, it's a hard to reach area, so we did not really tackle that uh, area well. But yeah, some of the dirt buildup got removed uh, very well, like on this uh, spot right here and this one as well. So yeah, I've uh, already sprayed for another pass on those uh, crevices. So let's see how it will perform after brushing it for the second time. All right, so after the second pass with our flag tip brush, wheel brush, uh, you could see that this portion right here, uh, the buildup got reduced, and on this one as well. So I think if you have a intricate or a small detailing brush, you could really tackle this area well because that's a long bristle brush. Uh, we cannot really agitate it uh, that nicely so if you have a de small detailing brush i think you might have already or you could already remove the build up on that portion or this kind of build up all right so let's proceed with our 5 is to 1 dilution ratio uh, let's just spray it there spread it nicely 
spread it uh, or spray it generously make sure to cover all of those areas all right so after a minute of letting the product sit on the wheel surface let's brush it away so this area right here so the as i've mentioned earlier the foam really goes down quickly so the product really doesn't stay that well on the surface if you let it sit for a minute or two so that's why what i usually do uh, after 10 seconds or 20 seconds of spraying the product i immediately go ahead and brush it so that the product or the product is still on the surface as i brush the wheel all right so after the first pass of the pipe is to one dilution ratio we could see that there's still quite some build up left and on this one as well so i think it did not change that much but i think some got removed but still there's a lot of build up left on those uh, crevices or corners this one definitely has a lot that got removed but on the other parts or on heavier buildups, there's still quite some buildup left or break that's left on the crevices. So yeah, that's with the first pass. Uh, let's proceed with the second pass and let's see if those buildup will get reduced or got removed. Uh, we could definitely see that this one still has a lot of buildup, but the edges like this portion here and this portion there got reduced. This one, yep got reduced by a lot and especially this one and this one as well and this part as well so heavier buildups 5 is to 1 you might have multiple passes on that one but with the full strength second pass i think you could uh, completely remove the that kind of buildup so there you have it that's the comparison of the full strength versus the 5 is to 1 dilution ratio of the pns brake buster so we were able to see the capability of the product on different or rather two different dilution ratios the full strength and the 5 is to 1 so to sum this up uh, the first advantage is that you could dilute the product on different dilution ratio the uh, highest that i've seen is 10 is to 1 for maintenance washes and what we have here is 5 is to 1 and then some or on my previous cases or previous use cases i've even used it as a 3 is to 1 dilution ratio and on heavier buildups uh, some detailers even use it as a 1 is to 1 dilution ratio or the actual product itself the full strength so that's the uh, one advantage that you have with the brake buster highly dilutable and the other one it is available in a gallon size so especially if you're having a small detailing business or you own a shop detailing shop i think it's more economical to buy the gallon compared to the pin sizes uh, that they offer or that the other products or other brands offer and the uh, other advantages is that uh, it's quite powerful especially on lower di dilution ratio it could easily remove some light buildup of brake dust and then the other advantage is that it has corrosion inhibitors as they have mentioned in their label then lastly as i have mentioned earlier in this video it is a non-acid wheel cleaner or wheel tire and cleaner so it's safe on the finish of the wheels and of course on your hands and your health so those are the biggest advantages of the PNS Brake Buster. Now let's proceed with the disadvantages. So the first one is if you're using an IK Foam Pro 2 or any kind of uh, foam sprayer is that the product drips down or the foam drips down very quickly after a minute or two. So you really need to work fast after spraying it. You need to go on there and brush it before majority of the foam gets removed. So, so far those are the advantages and disadvantages that I could point out with the PNS Brake Buster. And so far this is the second product that I've been able to test or use in cleaning the wheels and tires. The first one was the Turtle Wax Wheel Cleaner. That one is powerful as well. It was able to remove some tar as well on the paint uh, surface. But... In the long run, this is more economical, more affordable compared to Turtle Wax that doesn't have a gallon size like this one. So I cannot say yet that this is the best wheel cleaner out there because I have yet to try the other products that are available here in the Philippines. But so far, this is the best that I've been using as a wheel cleaner. 
so yeah that's my review on the pns brake buster so if you want to buy that product there will be a link down in the description so guys, I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to like and share this. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing because we'll be having more videos in the future and so that you'll be updated as well. So guys, thanks for watching and see you on the next vid. Alright.